Gentlemen, you already know the rules. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to break on my command. No hitting when a fighter's down. Good luck. Let's rock. So we're set to go for the WKA World Light Middleweight Championship. An unbelievable response by the crowd here at the Mirage in Las Vegas. A thunderous welcome for Benny the Jet Orquita. And we're underway. Round number one. Okay, you always look for Benny to start slow. He's a slow starter. And particularly after not being in the ring for four and a half years. Right, he's not going to try to rush anything. Chuck, is it important for Tagami to try to set some tone early? I think they're both setting the pace right now. They're feeling each other out. They're unfamiliar with each other, so they're going to try to feel each other out now and see what they really have power-wise. Tagami did say earlier his best technique is the lead leg roundhouse kick, which would be his left leg, so I'd watch for that. Benny the Jets' 20th year of kickboxing and a solid body kick by Tagami. Another good body kick by Tagami. Solid leg kick there by Benny the Jet. Solid leg kick by Benny. Benny the Jet is 16 years older than Tagami. And that completes round one. So an uneventful opening round. Well, it's a feeling out round. You know, again, to see what the other guy has, see how much power he's going to be throwing behind his different techniques. So that round is just to see and fill each other out. Right, I was pretty impressed with Tagami's uh, hands, though. It yeah. looks like he yeah. knows what he's doing. He's got his hands up, and he seems to be pretty together. Like you said, Don, I think it's the new breed. I think uh, one thing they, uh, the Japanese realized their weakness was their hands, and I think they're making, making up for that. Right. Benny Jenner Kita's his corner. Stan Ward, Jeff Malvin, Hector Lopez. Made that move, and the corner of Yoshihisa Tagami, Minatoya, and Hiroshi Tana. Maybe the Jet Orquidez in the long trunks, Yoshihisa Tagami in the red shorts. the jet and a solid right hand by Benny. Tagami's last fight, he won the UKF World Welterweight title in Japan, June 25th, 1993, a KO in the third round over Eckers. And Tagami going upstairs for a couple of punches. You know, a lot of people don't realize Benny is left-handed. Although he fights orthodox, his power is that left hook. Chuck, one thing you can tell right away is Tagami's quickness. Yeah, he's very fast. You can really see that. No, no, that's a slip. That's yeah. a slip. Yeah. Nice slip by Benny the Jet. That was a bad call by the referee. Yeah, it was. 
was a clean knockdown. Tagami's really trying to capitalize on it. Yeah. Down goes Tagami. Yeah, no. He's got to warm up. Right. But he's still cold. He's still cold. Yeah. And uh, that's Benny's biggest weakness is when he's not uh, really warmed up and, uh, and uh, sweating. He's uh, very vulnerable. Right. So he needs to stay away for at least another yeah. round. Yeah. So no knockdown was called. No. No knockdown was called. It looked like a clean shot. Well, it's definitely a Takami round. It may not be a 10 8 because the referee did not call the knockdown, but uh, there's no doubt about it. He can only attack you. Takami has uh, built up some confidence now, that's right. for sure. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Your movement and there's no doubt that right the quickness closer. of Tagami got to Rikita's. Donald's take a look at the knockdown. It was not ruled a knockdown. You be the judge. It's a clean hit. It's uh, it was the overhand right lands on Benny. Right here. Right behind, and that's as right good a knockdown as I've ever seen. Chuck, another look at it. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a knockdown. And that's coming from two of Benny's friends, so... Yeah, <laughs> we'd prefer not to be, but... Right. Uh, <laughs> I'd have my brothers. Yeah, yeah, we had our brothers, exactly. So no knockdown was called. We go to the third round. Still, that round has to go to Tagami. Yeah. Let's see if Benny does what uh, I was suggesting, which is kind of uh, ease off a little bit, let himself fully recover. So a knockdown only occurs when the ref starts his count. Uh, apparently, it's not ruled to be a knockdown there. Oh. Tagami lands the right hand. And Arquidez is in trouble. You know, the main advantage I see here, I don't know if you see it the same way, but it seems to God is just a little quicker than Ben. Yeah, he He's is. getting off quicker. Yeah. That could be the age. Yeah, that definitely is. It's a little, a little second of a reaction. Right, just a little bit more speed, yeah. and, and Tagami's getting to Benny. Right. And Tagami continues to land upstairs with a beautiful combination. Then he got him with a good run. But didn't seem to phase it. Well, he's 25 years old and uh, doesn't have the same effect as it does when you're over 40. That's exactly right. Head kick by Tagami. And it seems as though, Chuck, that when Benny throws the kick, Tagami is countering nicely. Yeah, he's got some good countering moves. Another good round for Tagami. But this has happened to Benny before. He's been knocked down before in early rounds and has come back. So we'll see if he can do it tonight. He's got tremendous heart. And Benny traditionally a slow starter. Like I said earlier, yes. But we'll find out tonight if the age factor has become a big factor. A stunning body kick by Tagami and another. That's the kind of move that will take the air right out of Benny in the later rounds where he was totally counting on coming on. Yeah. Tagami began his martial arts career at age nine. He spent many years perfecting his skills under the Sato Karate Federation. And by the age of 21, he had fought in over 100 karate-style matches at a world-class level. By the way, he's currently a sports instructor at a school in Japan where he instructs kids on things like weight training, swimming, volleyball, aerobics, and more. All right, let's go back to that big punch by Tagami early in the round. Well, you know, he seems to be landing these punches not so much on technique, but that he's got a, just a, a fraction of a second of speed on Benny. There's one, not a really solid punch with his body behind it, but just the speed of Tagami seems to be getting through Benny's defense. It was a little short left hand. Yeah. All right, so top first three rounds for Urquida. His best round of the three was clearly the first, and not much happened. But the last two are very much in favor of Tagami as we head to the fourth. With the vacant WKA World Light Middleweight Championship on the line. You know, Benny has landed consistently with the jab. I think he should stick with that jab and not, not get in there right now. Uh, Benny landing a solid right to the body. I think it'd be well advised to use that jab some more. It seems to be the, yeah. the best part of the fight from Arquidez into the right hand. 
And it landed clearly on the face of Tagami. I think he set that up with the jab. That's what he needs to do. It didn't seem to hurt Tagami, though. You know, he's... Well, that's one of those things, the conditioning and, and exactly. youth. And youth, exactly. Now Tagami missing a little bit. Rakitas with the body kick. But that's one of the staples of his reputation, is that he kicks and punches. He, he does it all. by Benny. Tagami's answering with one, trying to show him that he can do it too. Under 30 seconds in round four. A kick to the head by Tagami. Rakias with a leg kick. Said that the old style Japanese fighters rely on the low kicks uh, to win their fights against Americans. It seems to be one of Benny's weapons tonight. A better round for Akita. A lot of celebrities here tonight to see Benny the Jet Urquidez. David Lee Roth among those in attendance. And earlier tonight, the the round of applause that Benny the Jet Urquidez received was was equal to that of a rock star. It was just just incredible. Well, he's a hero to a lot of the people here, you know, as a, as a martial artist, as a kickboxer, and as a human being. So uh, it's not surprising. Back him up, Chuck Norris. The best punch of the fight for Urquidez, the right hand. Take us through this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Benny came in low with the left uh, left jab and came over with the right hand and uh, got a good solid punch. You know, it landed right on the chin. You couldn't ask for a better punch, but like you said before, it not much effect. It didn't face it. Rakitas may need a little bit of seasoning getting back in the ring after four and a half years off. He may just need the timing. You know, the gym just doesn't do it all. Right. You know, that they call it ring rust. and kicks often. Oh, oh, he's awake now. He's awake now. See, now Benny's coming into it now. It took four rounds for him to finally... Uh... Oh, good yeah. front kick. Rakitas has 49 knockouts. That uh, talks a little bit about his power over the years in 57 fights. Short leg kick by Rakitas. Tagami to the body with the kick. Benny. Good combinations by Tagami. Benny's working the legs. When Tagami comes in with the hands, Benny's been working his legs. Yeah. Tagami almost went down. Yeah. Technically, I, I would have called that a knockdown. Uh, Benny kicked. Tagami went down. His glove touched the ground. No standing eight counts. WKA American rules. You know, the jet reputation comes from a jump spinning back kick that Benny used to throw, and he's actually taken out some of these uh, Japanese fighters because they stand a little wide. To tell you the truth, he, he, Tagami looks open for that. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah, he really does. Spinning back kick. Yep. Another combination by Tagami. Final 10 seconds of the fifth and right hand. Pretty solid shots, but it, uh, the last couple landed on Benny pretty solid there. A wild flurry at the end of the round. It was a brutal exchange there. I mean, I saw punches landed on Benny and punches landed on Tagami. I, I can't really say who was hurt worse right there. 
Now here's Benny is ahead here. He's landed the punches. Now Tagami comes back right here. Yeah. That right hand right on the chin of Benny. That right hand was right on the button, Chuck. Yeah, it sure was. The will may exceed what the body can do, but we still have to wait. A lot more kickboxing ahead as we move to round six of the scheduled 12 round WKA World Light Middleweight Championship bout between Benny the Jet Arquitas and Yoshihisa Tagami. Tagami in the shorts, Arquitas in the long pants. The tie outfit. Yeah, Bruce, they talked about uh, Tagami being a, an example of the new breed of fighter coming out of Japan. Big overhand right. Tagami counters, though, and he lands another good left hand. It seems as though every time Arquita might stagger his opponent a bit, Tagami just handles it and counters. Well, Benny's landed the big punches, but uh, Tagami's been able to handle it and weather the storm. Light kick by Arquitas. Tagami has shown an excellent chin thus far. I think Benny's got to keep his hands up because that round kick of Tagami is a bit next. It's, it's deadly. It's deadly. Leg kick, quick one, effective by Tagami. But the jab of Benny is consistently getting in and is scoring. It may not knock Tagami out, it could still run up some points in the judges' scorecards. To the body with the kick by Benny the Jet. What about down the boxing skill for the two? Just the fist. Tagami's speed is so, is so much evident over Benny's that, you know, it's not a matter of technique, it's, it's just his speed. He gets in with a sloppy punch where, where Benny sometimes does it with a clean technique. A kick to be executed by one and then the other. Benny goes low, Tagami goes to the body. One thing I like about Benny is that he's pressing Tagami now. The question is how many 12-round fights Tagami has. Good round for Tagami as Jeff Speakman, another of the many celebrities in attendance, looks on. You know, I didn't score that for Tagami, uh, mainly because Benny took the fight to him. I didn't really see a clear advantage of uh, uh, hits by one or the other, but Benny was the one taking the fight to him and putting the pressure and backing him up, so I, I gave that round to Benny. Burkitas did land a solid right and a pretty good flurry in the middle of the sixth round. Yeah, it's this kind of thing that um, uh, I believe gave Benny the edge in this round. Yeah. Good, solid, right on the button. The only thing is, uh, didn't have a lot of effect. And it goes back to check what you're saying. After he scores, his hands are low. Yeah. And he's liable to be he's counting covered. his hands. After he catch, catches him with a good, solid one, then he drops his hands. And, and then the guy fires back. back. And he fires back. We move to the second half of the fight, round number seven. This Tagami's a tough kid. And Tagami grabs the leg of her key and gets a warning from Cecil Peoples. That's it. Good luck to the fight needs to do. He needs to work that jab. If ever there was a tough road game, Tagami is fighting it. He is in a hostile environment. In a very pro Arquitas crowd. He came to fight, though. <laughs> Trying to do what so many other Japanese fighters have failed to do. Beat Arquitas. Oh, he kicked him right below the belt, and Cecil Peoples calls for time. Arquitas apologizes, but he got him squarely. Right below the belt. Well, like I said, it, it's a kind of thing that can happen more in kickboxing than in boxing because two people moving, guys lifting their legs up, it's just uh, a little more common in kickboxing. Unintentional. Right. Straight front kick by Rakitas. He's landed that cleanly twice in this fight. Good body shot. Rakitas with a leg kick, and that time he backed away out of trouble. 
That's what he needs to do. Yeah, he definitely needs yes. Good counter by Pagani. I think Chuck called it right earlier. Benny will land, and then lower his guard and get scored on. I think what he needs to do is uh, keep the pressure on and keep his defense on. Both fighters landing with the legs. Final seconds of the round. Quick leg kick by Tagami as the round comes to a close. You start to initiate a kick. I mean, certainly it's uh, See, nothing going, going on thigh. purpose. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's Don. He was going for the thigh, to, and uh, Takami turned his body. And now Arkita is coming back, Chuck, later in the round. Yeah. This was a very, uh, that, that was the kick that he's landed twice, cleanly. He needs some more of that coming right up the middle. Takami answers with the same kick. Right. But then he connected to Takami missed. Right. <laughs> Bruce Beck, Don the Dragon, Wilson, and Chuck Norris ringside as we head to the eighth round. It's scheduled a 12-round bout for the vacant WKA World Light Middleweight Championship. Tough contest for Benny the Jet Arkita is coming back after 52 months off against the young, tough, undefeated Takami from Japan. Solid leg kick by Benny and a good jab behind it. I, I really believe that jab has been his best weapon. You're right, Don. He, he, keep he, doing can, score, it. he can score every time with it. Yeah. Right there. Those are all clean hits. You know, it, it, Tagami may not think it's uh, going to knock him out, but it's going to point. A warning to Tagami for grabbing Rikides' his head under his armpit. Decent low Ooh. kick. Well, Just missed the spinning back down. kick. Yeah, that was dangerous. Had to got he lost the kick. If he would have that heel kick, it would have been, been over. Rikita is missing the kick. There's a solid leg kick by Benny yeah. Lequette. Tagami seems to have slowed down a little bit himself. But that short uppercut made it made some noise. Another leg kick. Leg kick. Yeah. And a front leg body kick by Rikides. Under 30 seconds in the eighth round. You know, they're doing more trading this round. You notice they're, they're just standing there giving the best shots, trading blows. There's a solid hit kick by Arquinez. And a short uppercut by Benny. A oh, great action round. Yeah, Benny has got to stop dropping his hands, though, Don. Because every time he does, if uh, to come into Kimo with that spinning kick, oh, it scared me. It scared me. It scared me, too. Me. It scared me too. Bam, bam, bam. Sitting here at ringside, I, you know, I, I had a cold sh chill when I saw that kick go by Benny. Yeah. Here's Arquitas doing some work. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. One more look at it, guys. We should show that spin and do it to Gami. We should show this slow motion tape to the judges here. Heading to the ninth round. That's the kind of thing Benny needs to keep doing. Mixing those feet with those hands. Urquidez against Tagami. Tagami in the shorts. Urquidez is really warming up now. The question is, does he have it at age 41? I think 
Well, he's already proven he's got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tagami, a very formidable opponent. He seems he's turned southpaw. I don't know what that's all about. Kick by your feet as to the head. A lot of times when a fighter will all of a sudden switch to get a ball, means his legs hurt. Tadami thinks he's got Benny Hart. Seems he's to be opening up. up. Benny's got to keep his hands up. Leg kick by Arquitos in a counter mode. Big hand yeah, kick by Tagami. Hand up. And this is turning into a brawl. We're going toe toe now. Against the ropes, no call by the referee, no call. And Tagami grabs the head by the head, and that's the second time he's been warned. Well, that's illegal, you can't do that, but uh, you know, I'm surprised this referee has not called uh, a knockdown on Benny. Yeah. Again, there is no standing eight. Go toe -to -toe with him. Oh, beautiful oh, combination by Tagami. He's got Arquitas hurt. Arquitas goes yeah. down, and this is indeed a knockdown. Yeah. Clean knockdown. Yeah. Seven. Eight. It, it's just you. This young kid can just unload. And, uh, Final seconds of the ninth round. Benny's always been known to have a great chin, but yeah, he is in trouble. And the bell gets him through. So Tagami with the huge ninth round, including the first knockdown of the fight. Right. Uh, so far, I think there's been uh, two knockdowns that were clean, obvious knockdowns that were not called. Uh, there it is. Yeah. That was a left hook by Tagami. And we nothing are, was called. And nothing was called. Now, this one was a knockdown. There it is, right hand. That combination is just and, furious. In Tagami's youth, he just would not let up on Benny. That's something Benny has not done when he scored. He's not followed up. Exactly. He hits and goes three times. And yeah. stops. Yeah. Three rounds to go. The legend in trouble. Young Tagami all over Okitos. And they're trading again. You know, this is reminiscent to me of the, the last Leonard fight. Um, yeah. You know, he just didn't have the speed that he had in his youth. And he was the man with the defense. Sugar Ray Leonard was beaten by Terry North, a young super fighter. His eyes were closed. Uh, Benny's getting hit with everything. He's got the will. He doesn't have the same quickness. That little bit makes a huge difference. All the difference. Here to Tagami putting it on. He needs a one-punch knockout.
tremendous turbulent action all throughout this round. This punctuated it. This is no doubt uh, the best shot Benny's had tonight. He had him hurt. There he's hurt now. He's letting him off the hook. Benny's head is down. He's missing now. Yeah. He's not as accurate as he was. He did not follow up accurately. Now Tagami's back together. Right. See, that's the problem right now is Tagami's probably got to recuperate it. Benny is not. No. It doesn't happen after 40. No. Nope. Two, two minute rounds, two rounds to go in this 20 foot square ring at the Mirage in Las Vegas. And a head kick by Tagami. The Japanese welterweight champion, the world welterweight champion in the UKF, the Universal Kickboxing Federation. The undefeated youngster, 25 years of age in Osaka, Japan. And he's got to keep his hands up. He's up against the legend, but Benny just doesn't seem to have the speed he had when he was young. He's got the heart, the technique, the will, but not the speed. He's got to get him off. He recovers. He's hurt. He's bleeding. Got to recover. He's bleeding. He's hurt. He's got to take him now. Now, now's the time. He's right now. The Jama battles Benny. back. This is where the heart comes in. Here's it's here's heart versus he youth. Have it. It's heart versus youth out there. Body kick off the break by Tagami. Rikita landing a solid left hook. Left hook. He's doing it a lot on memory. Leg kick, but back comes Tagami. Both fighters are bloody. You know, Tagami has been a hell of a puncher in this fight. Yeah. I mean, if Benny goes to the legs, Tagami comes back with the hands. Yeah, a lot of power in those fists. And Tagami's chin has been outstanding. He gets hurt, he's back. Back in there in a second. And that quick body kick. <laughs> Benny the Jet had a chance in that round. He had a chance. But Tagami wouldn't let him get away with it. And now there is one round to go. Perhaps in the career of Benny the Jet a legend of the kickboxing industry. Tagami recuperated quickly, and Benny just uh, let him crowd him, hold him. The referee should be breaking him up right there, because Tagami is obviously tying Benny up. He's holding him. Here we go. One more round. Two minutes of boxing. Maybe two more minutes in an era. Undefeated 57-0 Arquidez against undefeated 20-0 Tagami. Tagami... Benny's got to go out back in this round. He's got to come on strong. He's too close to fight. I've got Benny hit slightly, but, you know, you can never tell what the judges are calling here. It's everybody's opinion. Big kick to the head by Tagami. Yeah, Benny's got to pull out every ounce every he's got. Every stop, everything he's got. This is it. This has got to be a big round for Benny. Yeah. Well, Benny can get to that overhand right like he has twice before. It's done. Maybe he can have enough. Uh, oh, oh, that's what we're talking about. Right here, yeah, that was the one. That was the one. A spinning back. Got right right over right for right 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 right. yeah. That's what he needs. Yeah. The guy looking over to his corner for the first time in the fight. Under a minute to go. The guy missing. So people separate the fighters with 40 seconds to go.
after that one big spinning back kick, but it, yeah. it was blocked nicely. Yeah, Tagami's looking to his corner, trying to figure out what to do here. Tagami pushes Rokitas off into the ropes. Both fighters are very weary right now. They're both uh, holding on. Yeah. Ten seconds inside of ten. Gonna be in the hands of the judges here at the Mirage. And let's listen to this crowd. respective corners triumphantly and carried around the ring. Now it's in the judges' hands. Big question is, if in the ninth round, that knockdown counted for a two-point differential with the judges, how much that'll weigh here in the whole fight? I think it's what will weigh the whole thing here tonight, right. that knockdown. Right, because other than that, it was a very close yeah. fight. Yeah. One knockdown, it came in the ninth. There were two others that we thought could have been knocked down, but were not called. That could be the deciding uh, point right there. Riquidez showing tremendous will and technique. The one thing he lacked a bit of, and it's maybe a millimeter, it's the quickness. Right, the speed wasn't there. The recuperative power was not there also. Yeah. Uh, Benny would get stunned. It would take him a little longer to get back together than Tagami. And I think what you're saying, uh, ring rust, too, I think, Don, is a big thing here. You know, you can train, 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 but when you're not in the ring fighting, it's a whole different thing, isn't it? Absolutely. Thank Tagami you, fought a sensational fight. Let's go back for a moment to the ninth round. First, the knockdown that was not called by the referee. Yeah, there's no doubt this was a, a clean knockdown by Tagami. Uh, you know, had all these knockdowns been called, it wouldn't have been a close fight. Here it comes, right up there against the ropes. There it is, the left, it was the left. <clears throat> all right, later in the round, there was a knockdown. There was no doubt about this because Arquidez was in big trouble. Right, the overhand right, another right, and uh, multitude of punches, punches and bunches. All right, here we go. We go up to the ring to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read the score totals, we've all seen an outstanding 12 rounds of action. No matter who the winner is, they both deserve a round of applause, of recognition. Benny Orquides, Yoshihisa Tagami. Outstanding 12 rounds championship bout. Well, fans, after 12 rounds of kickboxing, we do have a split decision, and here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Dave Moretti scores about 114 to 113, Benny Urquides. Judge at ringside, Dale Bakey scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Yoshihisa Tagami. Judge at ringside, Fred Royers scores the bout 116 to 113 in favor of the winner of the WKA World Light Middleweight Championship and still the undefeated legend of kickboxing, Benny, the Jet Urquide. than uh, the last judge did. Uh, actually, uh, looking at my scorecard now, I had to fight a draw. But had the knockdowns been counted that I thought were knockdowns, uh, it would have been uh, Tagami's fight. And I had Tagami Tagashi's ahead fight. by two points. What about you, Chuck? I had I had Tagami. The ninth round is what decided it. 
I gave Tagami uh, a 10 to 8 on Benny, and that was the deciding. It would have been a split, it would have been a draw otherwise. But uh, that. Uh, so you had one, Tagami ahead? By one, by one you know, by, by on the ninth round with a 10 to 8, that was the uh, deciding thing right there. And I had and Tagami ahead by two, and Don had it even. The judges with a split decision, and it is, it is a tough place to get a win if you're a Japanese fighter in uh, Las Vegas, not far from Benny's hometown. There's no doubt about that. Right there. You know, the, the, I don't really know how the hometown decisions play, but I fought in everybody's hometown, and uh, you know, I've seen strange things happen before. You can see Tagami overcome with emotion. He fought a brilliant fight, an outstanding tactical fight. But he lost to the legend, and sometimes the legend gets the benefit of the doubt. Well, you know, you have to beat them. That's the whole thing, right, Don? When you're the champion, when you're the legend, you have to beat them. They don't have to beat you. You have to be beaten, that's right. You have to be beaten, and Benny really wasn't beaten tonight. All right, guys, well, we'll hear from our two fighters in just a moment, but a reminder that kickboxing is coming up again on show.